the rise of Eddie Nketiah. Your defence is in trouble, Nketiah in the room. Premier League defences have actually been in trouble since Eddie Nketiah started seeing more minutes. He was originally supposed to be nothing more than a placeholder for Gabriel Jesus, who is currently out injured. But the 23-year-old is proving to be so much more than that. He started his first Premier League game this season after the World Cup, and has gone on to start four more after that. And in just five starts in the Premier League this season, Nketia has scored four goals. This is not including the two he got against Oxford in the FA Cup a week after New Year's. This guy has come a really long way in his career, and today we want to take a close look at the rise of Eddie Nketia. Nketia was born in London to Ghanaian parents, and he started playing football very early in his life. He was only a kid when he started playing for Sunday team Hilly Fielders in East London. Then, at the age of nine, he was scouted by Chelsea and immediately made the move to West London. It looked like it was only up from there for the little boy, but it actually wasn't meant to be for him in West London. Chelsea had too many bright young talents in their academy, so after spending seven years at Cobham, Eddie was released. This was a huge blow for the 16-year-old. He probably thought his dreams of playing for a big club were over, but the downtime actually didn't last long. That same year, he got picked up by Arsenal and immediately moved to North London. He started playing for Arsenal's academy in 2015, and in the 2016-17 season, everyone at the Emirates could already tell that this young boy was a monster. That season, he scored 15 goals in 16 appearances for the under-18 side, and still scored 12 in 26 for the under-23s. Remember, he was just 17. The staff and coaches at Arsenal were wondering why on earth Chelsea gave this boy up. They were so grateful for this gift from their rival. Even Arsene Wenger himself watched Nketiah and believed in his talent so much that he called him up to join the first team on their tour to China and Australia in the summer of 2017. He was 18 at the time, and what do you think? Of course, Eddie gave a very good account of himself. He did so well in pre-season that, once the season started, he began to roll with the big boys. His first appearance for the Arsenal first team in a competitive game came in September 2017. He came on in the 89th minute for Joe Willock in a Europa League game against Beit Borisov. His first appearance was pretty uneventful, but his second… his second was fire. It came in the EFL Cup against Norwich. You see, Arsenal were losing this game 1-0 when Nketiah was brought in. And not only were they losing, they were being dominated in the game, with Norwich seeing a healthy number of chances. But Arsene Wenger sent Nketiah on in the 85th minute to help send the game to extra time, and the 18-year-old did exactly that. His impact was instant. Just 15 seconds after coming on, Arsenal got a corner and he snuck himself into a very good position in the box and poached in the equaliser with his very first touch of the game. A type of goal we will come to see Nketiah score very often for the Gunners. With only five minutes left on the clock, Nketiah forced extra time and the Gunners now had the wind in their sails. Six minutes into additional time, there came the man again. He jumped highest to connect to a cross from a corner and gave his team the lead. A lead which turned out to be enough to win Arsenal the game and help them advance to the next round. This guy, only 18 years old at the time, came on with just five minutes to go and single-handedly turned what looked like a sure loss into a victory. That day, a star was born. But to let this star shine much brighter, Arsenal contemplated letting him go on loan to Germany so he could get more minutes and mature more quickly. All was set for him to leave in January of 2019, but then Welbeck got injured, so the loan deal was immediately called off. Nketiah was probably the happiest that the deal fell through, because that was a season he ended up getting his first Premier League goal. It came on the last day of the season in a game against Burnley, while the obvious star of the show that day was Aubameyang, who scored twice to clinch the Premier League golden boot, the future star, Nketiah, came off the bench to net his first goal in the English top flight. And it was a pretty one too, quite different from the ones we saw him score in the EFL Cup a couple of years ago. With just about five seconds to go in the game, Nketiah received the ball from Iwobi just outside the box on the left. He moved past one player and squeezed the ball past the keeper to give Arsenal a 3-1 victory. That goal showed the world that Nketiah isn't just a poacher or a tap-in merchant. He also knows how to move the ball and score from impossible angles. And that season was close to being perfect for Nketiah because he very nearly ended it with his first silverware. 
but he and his Arsenal teammates lost out in the Europa League final to City rivals Chelsea. Anyway, the following season promised to be bigger for Eddie. He had shown enough to earn a starting shirt, but it was always going to be difficult at Arsenal with both Aubameyang and Lacazette at the club, so he was loaned out to Leeds who were playing in the Championship at the time. Bielsa called Nketiah a complete player, and the striker immediately started proving his new boss right. He scored in his debut in the EFL Cup and then went on to score in his Championship debut. His time at Leeds was disturbed by a lower abdomen injury, which caused him to be sidelined for about a month. But the youngster had already shown enough in his four months at the club that Arsenal wanted him back immediately. So, on the 1st of January, he returned to the Emirates and started troubling defences again. That month, he scored a brilliant one-touch goal against Bournemouth in the FA Cup, which turned out to be the winner. But guess what? The following month, he scored a beautiful acrobatic volley in the Premier League to begin a comeback against Everton. Now, that's the interesting thing about this guy, Eddie. There are just so many facets to the boy's game. He scores tap-ins, solo runs, acrobatic goals, volleys, flicks, all sorts. No wonder Bielsa called him a complete player. At the end of the 2019-2020 season, Nketiah lifted his first major trophy as a player when he helped Arsenal win the FA Cup. And then, the following month, he went on to start in the Community Shield game against Liverpool, which Arsenal won, handing him the second trophy of his career. Nketiah would then go on to be the backup to Aubameyang and Lacazette, bringing a different style to Arsenal's game each time he was called upon. And if there was one game that completely encapsulated the difference he brings to the game, it was the EFL Cup quarter-final against Sunderland in 2021. Nketiah scored a hat-trick, and each goal was just more beautiful than the last. He scored one tap-in with his knee, and then two really sweet flicks to complete the treble. He's just such an entertaining football player, this lad. But then, in spite of how good he had proven he was, he was still linked with a move away from the club because it was still unlikely that he'd start ahead of Aubameyang and Lacazette. But Arteta had other ideas. Following Aubameyang's disciplinary issues and eventual exit in February 2022, Nketiah was given bigger responsibilities. He became the club's number one striker, yes, ahead of Lacazette. And how did Nketiah immediately reward his boss's faith in him? With braces against Chelsea and Leeds. The first goal against Chelsea showed how much of a predator Nketiah can be. He chased down Christensen, forced him to make an error, and went on to retrieve the ball and put it beyond the reach of Eduard Mendy. His second was a pretty interesting one. It might have looked like a lucky goal, but it showed how much of a sharp and focused striker Nketiah is. With the ball bouncing around everywhere, he kept his eyes on the ball and he eventually got it and slotted it into the back of the net. A deadly, deadly striker. He went on to extend his contract that summer until 2027, and although the season started with him sitting on the bench for most of the Premier League games, an injury to Gabriel Jesus at the World Cup brought him back into the mix, and he immediately reminded us why he's just too good for the bench. Among other instances, he got two goals against Man United, including a 90th minute winner to become just the second Arsenal player after Thierry Henry to score a 90th minute winner against Manchester United in the Premier League. Truly, your defence is in trouble if Nketiah is in the room.